As the island of Eleuthera in the Bahamas turns its lights out for the night, these summer interns are still working. They're doing a job that may one day help corals everywhere. They call it tucking the corals into bed. It's like changing your baby pampas. You have to do it. You have to take care of your babies. I grew up in the West End Grand Bahama, which is a really small kind of fishing village. So my house was never far away from the ocean. The first time I was in the water and I saw the coral reefs, it just blew my mind. All of the beautiful coral, the sponges, the fish, it was just so bright and vibrant. I worked with the Royal Bahamas Defense Force and we have a conservation unit. As I became a scuba diver, I was so intrigued by what I saw. Somebody told me, say, you should have seen that 10 years ago. Coral reefs are a huge part of the Bahamas marine ecosystems and also a really important part of our tourism and of our fisheries. Corals fit into so many different aspects of Bahamian life that they're absolutely essential to a sustainable future for the Bahamas. But across the Caribbean, once magnificent coral reefs are dying at an alarming rate. Living coral cover in the region has declined by 60% in just the last three decades. The Bahamas Coral Innovation Hub was launched by the Nature Conservancy and Partners to advance solutions for this crisis and help ensure a future for these vital ecosystems. At the Hub, the interns are restoring threatened corals by helping them to reproduce naturally. They're collecting coral gametes, or eggs and sperm, during rare spawning events in the ocean and growing precious new baby corals in the lab. We were in the water staring at these corals for hours waiting for them to spawn and then the magic happens, we collected them, we carefully brought them back into the lab, you know, we allowed the fertilization to happen, we've been changing their water all day making sure, you know, they have fresh water. We put a giant canvas over them so that they, they think it's night, so that's why we call it tucking them in. They really do feel like our children because we watched them born and now we're taking care of them. Through the nurturing care of the interns, mixed with cutting edge science, baby corals will grow and one day help bring life back to the reef. The interns also work with local students at the Hub summer camps to pass on their passion for coral reefs in the ocean. Without education, we cannot reach that next generation. So what we hope to do is target students who may not get the opportunity to engage in the environment, um, have an opportunity to come to this great space, learn a little bit more about corals and about how they can give back. They see that people are interested in what's going on here in their own backyard, um, which kind of conveys this message that, hey, this is valuable and Hopefully by starting young, we can then have a generation in the Bahamas that are really going to see the value in conservation of coral reefs. This innovative work to save coral reefs is happening across the region through a network of coral innovation hubs. So what starts with a few baby corals will create hope for reefs across the Caribbean and beyond. How do I see it impact in the world? I believe that ripple effect. Tree coral interns here, the little that we do, I'm sure it's gonna spread out. The world is gonna see what is happening in the Bahamas. One little island country, gonna make a big splash out there. It feels wonderful to like wake up and know that even though it may seem like I'm not doing much, I'm just one person on one island, the work that I'm doing, I know that it's impacting not only me, but it's gonna impact the reefs for the future. It, it just feels amazing to know that the work that I'm doing here is gonna help so much more people.